Certainly, we look at things like the four-day week. Yeah. That's probably the best thing I've ever done in business in terms of what it's done for the people we work with, and you know, and uh, did that help the business as well? Oh, like ma- obviously massively. nationally, I think he was in the papers and stuff like that. When you, yeah, it's one of those weird things where you know I touched on earlier about work for the boss rather or pick the boss rather than the job, and and uh, and you know, I've only had one boss, and he was a right knob. Was he? <laughs> it's <poor. laughs> it's uh, one of the, my sort of great things is uh, that I'm very proud of, even though it was in the sun, with all due respect to the sun, uh, it named me as the best boss ever because it had this. <laughs> is that what it and was? there's us yeah. with our team because not only had we done the four day week, we, we put their salaries up at the same time and no one had ever done I that. Wanted to, I wanted to understand how you did that. Yeah, you asked earlier, actually, didn't yeah. you? I, and I know we went off on a tangent, as I tend to, you know. Uh, it was every year, I think. As a business owner, we you know we should try and be innovative in our little space, and whatever our subject matter is, you know, and, and the service we provide, uh, as we said earlier, we're a little bit grey at times in, in legal profession. Just try and do something that's a little bit different. And and that one year, so it was, it was uh, twenty December twenty eighteen. I remember saying to my wife Michelle, uh, "Let's try this four day week thing. What, what do you reckon?" And uh, so we chatted about it at home, and uh, I said, yeah, let's just introduce it. So you can imagine how hard the sell was to the team when they came back after Christmas, and you went, hey, I've got this idea. And I know they're probably looking around thinking, oh, what's now? Because I do come back with some you know, strange ideas at times. Uh, but that's the innovator, isn't it? That's, that's you, you're never resting. And uh, I said, how would you like the idea of 50 extra days off a year, and you're still on the same pay? Of course, they all said, that's a terrible idea. Let's not do it. So and what's the catch, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. Here's the catch. Uh, you've, got to, you've got to pay raise as well. Yeah, yeah. And I said, just to, just to sweeten it, as if it's not sweet already, we'll put your salaries up because I didn't want the outside world thinking, uh, are they cutting back? Why are they only doing four days? I thought, oh, it's, it's a thing. But again, uh, an academic told us that no one else had done it. Yeah. They'd done the four-day week, you know, New Zealand and Sweden. And, and so, yeah, so we just brought it in. And I'm one of those, I think, find find reasons to do something rather than not do it. And and if it doesn't work, at least we had a go, didn't we? Was that, was that on reflection of how well your business was doing? Does that make sense at that point? Uh, was it was it like sort of incline or was it at that point? No, it was more about their welfare for me. It was about how... Uh, how could we look after them a bit better, you know? And uh, and I think, well, hopefully anyone who's worked for me will say, uh, you know, I'm a decent person. I'll always try and do the right thing. Uh, but I felt we could go one step further and bring in this 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 innovation, really. And and, it, and it's worked. And, and honestly, the PR we got out of it was phenomenal. Uh, and I uh, bet you didn't expect that much. No. You? you know what I mean? Like No. And it wasn't done for that, you know. So locally, uh, William Telford at the Herald, you know, as was, got hold of that. And uh, he ran the story, and then all of a sudden it just exploded. And so we had articles in India today, which you can still find <laughs> online now. Yeah, you can today. find uh, there's Australian lawyer. I think there was some in the States. I mean, it just went everywhere. We were getting calls from all of So then they wanted me to go on the radio with uh, Gemma Atkinson and, and all that. On the, so we did an interview on there, and she asked if she could have a job. No, she kept calling me. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing was, she kept referring to me as Trev. And the the other two... Uh, was uh, Comedy Dave was their, their sidekick yeah. and oh, I, f- I, f- I forgot his name now uh, Gethin who's on The One Show a lot and, yeah. uh, and and she was so familiar with me they kept saying uh, why are you calling him Trev you just want a job done and she said yeah I'll move down and all the rest of it in four <laughs> days and, and it was great and it's, it's been marvellous for the business yeah. because people see us in a different light now they see when we talk about being kind to our customers and clients mm-hmm. they can see we're also kind to our staff and uh, well, I'd good, be much more willing to give my money to you than I would uh, a solicitor. Traditional uh, sort of, yeah, like, I know you what, know what I mean. Like that sort yeah. of, like I always think straight away, you can walk into a solicitor off, you think 200 quid. Yeah, Do yeah. Do you know what I mean? That type of feeling you get yeah. to it, you know. And, but um, it's interesting to hear that because it is about, you know, you do things for the right reason, don't you? And then it's the unintended consequence, which sometimes can be bad. But but this was marvellous because a very good friend of mine, Matt Begley, who's an IFA down in, in Cornwall, he, he gave us an introduction to one of his clients. And and the line was, he said to me, she's a, a, a well-known film director. Uh, sadly, her mum had passed. And uh, she wants, you know, estate administration done, probate, you know. And so can you help with that? I said, yeah, of course we can. He said, but you will find her so difficult to get hold of, but be persistent. So we just kept ringing and ringing and ringing. She was filming on the Yorkshire Moors, actually, at that time. And... Uh, 
And then when we got hold of her, one of my colleagues said, oh, you know, it's, it's me from Port Calais. And, and the first thing she said back was not thanks for calling or whatever. She said, look, I'm really, I'm really busy at the moment. I'm in the middle of film. You could hear the wind, apparently. And she said, are you that firm I've just read about in the Daily Mail? And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's us. She said, well, if you treat your staff that well, you must treat your customers amazingly. So you've got the business. I don't care what the cost is. <laughs> and, nice. and that was an unintended yeah. concept. Yeah. And she said, we can use that anywhere with her name on it. That's we class, haven't, yeah. so I'm respecting that. But, yeah. uh, but what, what a benefit. Because yeah. if they think if you're looking after them, you, you've got a decent firm, haven't you? you know? Yeah, no, I, I, I fucking love it, mate. I really do. I think it's great. Wish more companies did the same. It, it's happening though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That movement is there, isn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> it, in, in, in part, I think. There's still a long way to go, isn't there? And I, I still feel like there's a lot of organisations where you've got you know people doing the job of like two or three people still. Yeah. And I get that, that a lot of businesses are hurting as a result of the pandemic and everything else. But it's just, it's not how you get the best out of people, is it? No, it's not. You know what I mean? As, as Danny alluded to, I've worked in leadership roles for a bit. I've never run a business, but... You know, I've I've worked with individuals and, and observed how you get the best out of them, and it isn't by just no. putting them on the you know in, in the meat grinder and, and working them to death. You know what I mean? So I think it's great. I was curious when you said that it was successful. You've obviously given some um, unexpected reasons why it was success, uh, successful. How did you measure it with like I guess performance of the individuals that were affected by it? Yeah, K KPIs really. Yeah. Uh, just in terms of you know what we expect from them uh, and uh, and a what sorry. Key performance Sorry, indicators. key performance indicators. Sorry, uh, and uh, it, it's just making sure that they were they were achieving their own targets for themselves as a as a career, you know, and and their own aspirations. And as long as it matches with ours in terms of how we need the company to grow, and you can measure them that way. So that that was good. Uh, I think as well, you know, constant conversation with them all the time about what's good, what's not. And we've had different models of the four day week, you know, where everybody's got the same day off. Some people take a Wednesday off. It's, it's you know it's mix and match, and uh, there's very very forms of it. But I I think the four day week is an easy label for people to understand. Yeah. But I think these days it's more about just flexible working, isn't it? Yeah. Respect people's home life as well as their work life, and try and fit something up that you know it's not just in the interests of the the employee, but works for everyone because it's got to work for the firm, isn't it? Yeah. And and I understand some sectors can't do it. Yeah. I, I get that, you know. And it's not for everyone, but but be a bit more flexible in your thoughts. Yeah, we had uh, we had a guy in a few weeks ago, Dan, who's a, a senior leader, works in the L and D industry, and he, he would have loved this because his whole mantra is um, purpose, not process. Right. And the idea is that it's about the outcome. Yeah. Why are we doing something? It's not a case of just working five days because you need to work five days. It's like what are we trying to get out of those five days? Yeah, yeah can we still get the same outcome that our four days? Yeah. And you've proved that you can. Yeah. So like yeah. you were saying, you'd rather do one hour of good work than five hours of yeah, shit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, exactly. So. It's yeah. funny because the academics are now obviously looking into all this with their research and they talk about, it should all be about productivity. I yeah. get that. I, I understand that completely. Mm. But also it's about other things like retention of good people. They yeah. want to stay, won't they? Why but, would but they go the same, But I feel that's the same thing. Like if I'm working yeah. for a business that I want to be working at, yeah. Because they're good to me, I'll work yeah. fucking harder for them. Yeah, yeah. I'll break my back for like people yeah. that that yeah. that deserve it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. And recruitment, you know, I mean, it's a double edged sword though. To be fair, because sometimes you'll attract people who just want a four day week. They don't care yeah, about your okay. firm and your values and your culture and all these because they're important to us. Yeah. And you can see they just want to, you know, so they don't get very far. Uh, but but also, I think, uh, and and you, you mentioned to me earlier currently our team is all females except for yeah. me that's not intentional that's just they were the best people for the job at the time but you know some of them have children and that and they can balance their life a bit more and if that works for them fantastic you know i guess uh, it comes as well you get less sick days you get you know like you said less sick days more productivity all that type of stuff point. because yeah you know with kids and everything yeah, else yeah. you know if they have a four-day week yeah they get an extra day off so if yeah. their kid is poorly it's like oh it's all right if i have today off instead of maybe friday just yeah. because you know, yeah. he's ill today and then yeah. they're still not missing it, you know, it's true. as long as it's a bit of flexibility there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my colleague Morgan, who I talked about earlier, she she's labelled it and we all use it now. That's her life admin day. So she always has Fridays off. Mm -hmm. So she does all the things you would normally do on a Saturday. Yeah. Uh, on a Friday. So yeah. now she has a full weekend with her partner yeah, and it's lovely. much... That's so they lovely. come back work more refreshed, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great thing. 